I know what you're thinking, cloth nappies. Bucketfuls of dirty nappies that leak and that you need to boil to clean. Fear not. Now cloth nappies can be reliable, convenient and better for the planet our kids are growing up in. If you've been wondering whether to give them a try, I'm going to explain how they work. And stay tuned for the next video where we mums test them to show you the truth about switching to reusables. Click the subscription button and the notification bell now and then Jess can tell us everything that we need to know. You will need nappy, liner, wrap, bucket with lid, washing powder. Let's be honest, cloth nappies cost more at the start so it will probably work best for your budget to start off small. You could start with a nighttime nappy for example. Try the UK nappy network for a nappy library, yes, just like books near you or council incentive schemes to get you going on a budget. Always give nappy and wraps a wash before you use them for the first time. Never use fabric conditioner, have everything in a basket with your mat ready to go. Insert the liner in the middle section so it will catch any solids. Once your baby's bum's clean, insert the nappy section under the bum in the same way you would a disposable. Do up the nappy velcro or poppers. Put the wrap under the bum and repeat over the nappy, making sure it's secure. The big question, how do you get rid of solids? The yicky, icky, smelly, stinkiness factor puts a lot of people off the idea of using cloth nappies, but I'm gonna show you, with some helpful melted chocolate, how it's really not as bad or as gross as you think it's gonna be. If you're using these disposable liners like we are, you literally scoop up the disposable liner, then you've got two choices. <laughs> can't really take myself seriously. It's like swinging. You can stick it in a nappy sack, and pop it in the bin like you would with a normal pooey nappy or what you can do is you can tip the more solid stuff down the toilet and then just dispose of this tissuey bit in the bin and with the liner disposed of the nappy has come off remarkably unscathed and can just go in the nappy bin with all the other dirty nappies it's worth noting it's really important that you redo the velcro tabs before you put it in the wash so I've stuck them to each other, but you can also just fold the tabs back in on themselves like this. It just means that when you go in the wash with other things, the Velcro isn't gonna to stick to other things in your wash. Out and about, store any soiled nappies in a nappy bag or washable bag. Many people use all-in-one nappies out and about to help with convenience. Pop them into the machine following the manufacturer's instructions. Do a quick 40 degree wash with no detergent. Follow this with a 60 degree cotton wash with powder detergent and no fabric softener. Air dry. Line drying is great for fading stains. A good tip is 90% line drying and then the other 10% in the tumble dryer to soften them up. Have you tried reusable nappies before? What did you think? Click the video here to find out how our mum testers got on, the good, the bad, and the stinky.